Hi guys, this is Banches, and welcome back to another episode for Transport Fever. So sit back and relax and enjoy this episode. If you guys are new to my channel, go down below and hit that subscribe button. If you guys have been here before, well, welcome back. I love having you guys here. And if you guys love this video, you know what to do. Go down below and smash that like button. Today, we will be starting um, chapter one, mission three, for transport fever too. So let's just jump straight into it and hear what we are doing. In the north of Britain, in the midst of the Victorian era, the industrial city of Glasgow is bursting at the seams. The factories are working full blast, but the competition is not sleeping. In terms of economic issues, the countries in continental Europe have long since caught up. Something must be done to stop the cradle of the industrial revolution from falling behind. Anyone who doesn't tow the line now will fall by the wayside. Okay, so it looks like we are going to England right now. Let's um, jump into this mission and let's start this. Wow, the industry, just the screenshot right here looks so vibrant. Wow, okay. I still can't get over how vibrant this game is and detailed it is from Transport Fever 1. And it is just, it's mind blowing if you guys haven't seen uh, episode one or two yet for the campaign series definitely go back and check those out but we are going to let this load and once this loads we will jump into the game scotland the land of enlightenment the land of progress the land of science The land of industry. The Glasgow City Council wants to modernize the transport infrastructure so that the city remains the vibrant industrial metropolis that it is today in the future as well. With your transport company, you're as good as predestined for this sort of contract. The shipyards on the Firth of Clyde have been famous for their sturdy boats for quite some time. New processes for the mass production of high quality steel are now opening up previously undreamt of possibilities. A member of the city council recently proposed to you during a pheasant hunt whether you'd like to supply his friends in the shipbuilding industry with this essential material. Okay. Coal and iron are available in abundance in the areas around Glasgow. Off to the blast furnace with them. Okay, so it looks like we are going to have to set up. The first thing here is get the steel works underway. This should definitely be a, a fun little uh, start here. So let's just first thing we want to do. Let's start with some buildings right here. We are going to start with just getting here one of these structures in. Something probably like that, I'm going to think. And then what we're going to do is over here we need obviously also something with vehicles. This is uh, too close together, at least from my viewpoint, uh, to basically be putting uh, trains or any large transportation networks. Basically what we're going to do is we're just going to take this network that's super close together and let's just expand this. We're going to take some country roads just like that. And then we are going to just take this and let's connect this up over here. Perfect. This is going underground. You know, we got money, let's spend some money. Perfect. All right, so that's good. That is underground. And then obviously what we're going to eventually have to do is go this way over to the town. So we'll just get that right now. Wow, that's really cool uh, terrain forming right there. Hmm. Okay, let's see. How can you upgrade roads also? Oh, you can. Perfect. I want to upgrade all these roads just in case they uh, will go, they make the vehicles go any quicker. And then let's get some network lines set up here. So we're gonna go from here to there, that's one. Let's go new line now, and we're gonna go from here to there. And then we're gonna go one more line, and that line is gonna go from here, oh, and we gotta put something in the city center. Okay, so in the city center, let's see what we have here. Industries over here, so this is probably where we're going to want to have the resources yeah because they need steel over here needs okay yeah so let's get because this is going to be good for just going forward into the future here this is going to be Oof. let's see 
There's nothing being produced in here. If I just do something like this, it's small, if I do something like that, is that any bigger? It covers a good amount of area. It covers, kills three buildings doing that. Let's go for it. We're gonna place that right there. All right, so that's in two. And we need to go back into this line manager. Let's add one more station right there. Perfect. And then the next thing that we need to get in here to make sure this is all finalized is we need a road depot. So let's turn that just like, ooh, that's gonna be expensive. Something like, I wanna save some kind of money. All right, that should be fine. We'll do that. And then let's buy some vehicles now. So you can see here, we can get materials exactly what we want out of these wagons. So we're gonna start with just, we're gonna start with four, but we're gonna take two of them, put them on line one, and then we're gonna take the other two, put them on line two, and then we're gonna take two more and put them on line three. That kind of gets the whole entire network running. If it's very similar, at least to Transport Fever 1, what this will do, it will get basically all the resources in here, realizing that they have the ability to ship resources to the steelworks and then the steelworks will realize that it's actually getting demand from the industry over here all in all basically pumping out resources and you can see already we're starting to get some kind of resources over here and we're also getting resources over here so that's good we need to start producing steel so why we're basically just waiting for uh the steel to be produced we're just going to uh wait here and let this kind of just run through for a little bit so i'll be back with you guys in a few seconds the shipyards crave steel for colossal tubs bigger the better cool but it doesn't get there all by itself all right cool so now we just gotta deliver some steel to the city looks like so this should hopefully start producing uh, we're probably going to have to definitely start ramping up. Yeah, we're going to have to keep ramping up the amount of wagons that we have on these lines. So let's just keep going about that. We're going to keep adding four each time. There we go. Let's go that to line one. And then we're going to add just four more to also this line. That's a pretty long distance. All right, so that's good. We are now once again having to wait. So let's just wait until some of the steel gets uh, produced and we can uh, have some of that get delivered. Your deliveries of high quality steel make it possible to build particularly seaworthy ships. Time to make use of these robust steamers. Sustenance for the city's working masses is found out on the islands. Delectable fish swim in the sea. And the distilleries on the Hebrides produce an absolutely exquisite whiskey. It's called the Water of Life. Get out there and explore the area. Every ship needs a harbor, and your venture needs a particularly good one. Okay, well that's simple enough. Let's get into some shipbuilding here. Cargo, shipyard. So it says we need to build a harbor, a cargo harbor. Might as well. Now we'll have it come in like this. Help to build a shipyard so that it won't be long before you can call a beautiful ship. Okay. Yes, we will build a shipyard here. Mm. Let's see. How are we going to place this though now? Place Buy it there. a stately boat that will sail you safely through the wild waters of the Western Isles on your daring expedition. Okay, so let's check out now what we have here. This is talking about tip buildings. Yeah, we've already we've already done that. All right, in the shipyard. So we have a passenger ship. Ah, oh, there's two types here. It looks like. Let's go with this big one. I kind of want to go for the bigger one. Explore right now. the Western Isles to obtain whiskey for the city. Okay, we need to get whiskey for the city, which whiskey is probably this out here. Yep. So let's make a line from here down to here. That's going to be line four. And let's go back into here, grab the ship, and let's place this guy on line four. So now it looks like we're just basically going to have to wait for our new beautiful steamer. Look at this thing. Whoops. We want this one. 
So our beautiful new steamer here, this is gonna have to go and it looks like go over to the other city to get some whiskey for us. And then it's gonna come back over to uh, our city port here and drop off some stuff over in our city. So while we are waiting for that though, we need to make sure that we can actually get some of these goods up to our town. So that would be very crucial to our uh, success here. So let's just make sure here we can actually get this going. Yeah, because this needs to connect up to our docks here. So, if we can go like something like that, that should be pretty good. And what we can do is get a line from then here up to there. And we're going to get, we'll get for right now, just two wagons. And we're going to place these two guys on that route. So there you go. So this now should get some demand for our whiskey uh, over in this city here. Once we get to this harbor, I'm assuming we'll probably start getting some demand. But right now, we just got to wait, see how this goes. And I will be back with you guys once we uh, have some uh, updates for you guys. So I'll be back in a few seconds. Industry is buzzing. Thanks to your services, its need for steel is always covered. In contrast, a lack of personnel looms on the horizon. Nowadays, the city's working class is outrageously spoiled. Workforce is rebelling more and more against the prevailing working conditions. On the other hand, in the Highlands, countless hungry people wait gratefully for employment. All that needs to be done is to get them to the city. Okay. Build a railroad in the wild west of the Highlands so that this remote stretch of land finally experiences the blessings of modern civilization. Okay. So that's, a, I guess, another update we can do. So um, I thought that we were going to have a little bit of waiting time, but it looks like we don't have to wait at all. So what we need to do now is we need to collect, connect Fort William over here to Glas... I think it's, yeah, Glaslow it wants us to via a train line. Okay, that shouldn't be that bad. Let's uh, get this going right now here. So buildings, we are going to go into our dead end station we're gonna place one of these guys actually better idea we're gonna place this here like this place that a train station just like that and then we're gonna do the same thing over here on Glaslow's side we're gonna go with a passenger station right over here Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do another train station. Something just like, let's say, that. Perfect. And now all we need to do is run tracks between these two areas here. So that is definitely easier said than done, especially when it looks like we have a lot of terrain here. Let's see here. That's water, terrain. All right. Yeah. So let's try to squeeze this through as little of a terrain elevation change as possible. Looks like we can squeeze this probably right in through here. And there we go. Perfect. Supply the city of Glasgow with workers none the worse for wear who haven't fallen victim to the union's pipe dreams yet. Okay. We can definitely do that too. Let's uh, make a nice little uh, depot over here. So we can have some trains coming in and out. Hopefully that's not too close to the shoreline, but hey, we'll have to see here. Buildings, let's go depot. That should be perfect. All right, we'll place a depot there. And we need to get a passenger train. It looks like, does it have any uh, restrictions? It does not. All right, perfect. So let's go with this bad boy here. The BR-54 uh, Prussia, we'll go with this one. That looks uh, pretty good to me. And then we're gonna go with one, two, eh, four. We're gonna go with five. Start with by this, and we need to now put in a line. The line needs to go from, let's say this city, over to that city. Perfect. And then we'll go back into the station here and put that train out on that track. Awesome, so these trains should be running, but to make sure everything is running smoothly, we're gonna have to, looks like mm, yes we are definitely going to have to add 
some kind of transportation in here. So let's get some uh, transportation in these cities here because obviously having that there is not just gonna be the only thing we need. We're gonna also need some here. That should probably be good in this city. This city has no buildings yet, so let's get a depot over here. We'll place this depot here and let's get a route set in here. We're gonna go from this depot, from that stop to that stop to here. That's perfect. And then let's take, mm, we're gonna take one, two, three, three. We'll take three. These days, big landowners fleecy balls of wool now graze where families of farmers once cultivated their patches. Okay. Lady McDougal asks for help. We could definitely help with she that. She wants to know if all her little sheep are still together. Yeah, we could definitely do that. Help with accounting and look to see if all the sheep are still there. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's definitely a big uh, exercise we can do. Looks like the steamer has got to the harbor over here. Let's see. Yeah, it's pulling in here. And we do have, actually, it looks like some stuff to pick up. So that is awesome. But before we do that, I want to get this city's set up over here. Transportation wise, let's go here, out here, to here, there, and then finally to there. And then to top that off, we're going to go with these guys again, but we're going to go with a few more. We're going to go with five here. Perfect. A larger distance. That'll be good getting this train running a little efficiently, getting as many people on these tracks as possible. So while we are doing that, let's go around <clears throat> and look at all these sheep here. Do I actually have to count sheep? I really hope I don't. That would be a pain. Well, there's no sheep there. I'll tell you that much for sure. If I zoom in here now, are there any sheep in here? Nope, no sheep here. How about back here? Nope, no sheep. I'm gonna go through this and count all these sheep and I'll be back with you guys if any more updates uh, so come up. All the people in charge have dozed off oh. from all the county. Well, that's good. I guess uh, that mission was easy to uh, complete. Hmm. Let's see here. Okay, guys, so we need to figure out what exactly we need to do here to make this noise to wake up people. I don't think it's a train because the train's already running along here. That would definitely be waking up people. The wagons aren't that loud, so that wouldn't wake up people. Let's see, maybe destroying something will wake people up. That does. So destroying a building will wake people up. That's a pretty expensive way to go about it, though. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Inventory's over and done with. <laughs> all right, cool. So it looks like, uh, simply enough, all you need to do is delete a building or make some kind of noise. So probably even placing like a bus stop or something like that makes that thumping noise. Oh, probably also, um, you know, help with the uh, making a noise to wake the people up. So there you go, guys. That was uh, one little uh, new thing that you guys uh, can learn if you guys aren't sure yet. But uh, let's continue on here. Well, it looks like we're now just waiting for the trains. So let's just wait and see how long it takes for people to be transported back and forth here. And I'll be back with you guys once this is completed. The new workers from the Highlands awesome. are remarkably productive as they slave away. To keep them in a good mood, Make sure they don't fall for any kinds of rebellious activities or cautionary sedation that's called for. Whiskey from the Western Isles is excellently suited to this purpose. Okay. Supply the city with cheap booze that pacifies the dissatisfied so that subversive activities don't get started. Okay. Simple enough. Thanks to you, throats are well lubricated all over Glasgow. But on an empty stomach, the water of life makes people anything but lively. What's required is a sound basis in the form of solid food. A new dish is currently on everyone's lips. Deep fried fish with deep fried potatoes. Mmm, fish and chips. What a culinary delight. Help this masterpiece of British cuisine to triumphant progress. Okay. Your services are going to stuff <clears throat> the city's jaws 
and provide fishing operations on the Atlantic with record sales. Okay, so let's build. We gotta figure out here, we gotta get this guy. Hmm, does this city have any demand? It doesn't look like it has any demand for it. Everyone's leaving. No one likes this city, I guess. So what I'm thinking is the best way to get demand out of this. All right, so let's go with a freight station. I'm gonna do a freight end station here. Simply just like that, because it's not gonna connect to there. But over here now, the nice part of this is we can have a modular station. Let's go into a platform and let's, um, let's put it in tracks just like this. Perfect. We're gonna go with a cargo platform. Oops. Went a little too far out on that one. I'll have to delete that and place another cargo platform there. So we have now definitely plenty of cargo platforms right here. And from that, we are gonna go to. Without fail, some of the whiskey oddly disappears in transit. Oh boy. Is it likely that it evaporates out on the open sea? Doubt it. Is it the legendary angel share that imperceptibly vanishes there? If it is, then the angels must be awfully thirsty. All right, so we have connected now this up here with some axis. So that will be perfect. Now what we need to do is get some tracks coming out of here because we have the passenger train network running. That is good. Let's connect that into here. And now from here, we are gonna run double tracks. The reason why I wanna run double tracks is because doing this will allow us to at least have the opportunity to run uh, a freight train and a passenger train on the same rail line. I think that will greatly increase the ability to do this. So we're gonna have this probably come to about, mm, let's see, somewhere like here. And then from here, the train is going to bypass that station and come over to here. Yes. So this is gonna come right through the town here. If I can get that to snap. I only wanna delete one building if I can. Or two. Ah, two buildings. Place that in. And then what this is going to do is curve down like this, connect up to there. And what we need to do is get this train to go like that. And then we also need this to, this should work. Worked in Transport Fever 1. Let's see if the developers kept this. Mm, not possible, looks like, unless that was a mod. So what I'm gonna do is, that's gonna come over this way. When the train comes out, it'll have to come through here. Continue like that. The fish out in the Atlantic leap happily into the nets, all, right. all on their own. So thanks to the this railroad, is going to the merchandise is even still fresh like when that. it arrives in town. When this is now coming over the train, we want to make sure it doesn't come across these tracks here. All right, so we're going to leave that right there. That's clear. That should be good. And then what I'm going to do is place a few of these along the route here just to keep the trains going in a uh, the same direction. Okay. And then right over here at the end, it looks like, yep, all right, perfect. Delete that actually. And we are going to bring the track here over like that. And from here, we only need to place one here because anytime a train is in any of these areas, they will wait and the train is coming out of here and these tracks are occupied, they will wait. All right, cool. So that should be good. Let's get now the train out here for some fish and chips. Okay. Do not want to delete that. Let's buy this. All right, we're gonna go with eight. Let's buy this. We're gonna have to make a line now. And this line is going now from this station over here. 
these tracks over here. Perfect. And let's get this train out of the station now and onto that line. Perfect. So, let's see how this freight train looks coming on out here. A mysterious stone circle is going to transport you into the past. Oh, wow. You can help James Fraser, an equally courageous and passionate man, to win the decisive Battle of Cologne against the English Redcoats and write history in the process. Okay, let's accept this. The stones don't reveal their secret to just anyone. Prove that you are worthy of their wonders. How is this achieved? Well, that's written in the stars. Interesting. All right, so this is gonna be interesting here. We're gonna have to figure out how to go about modifying the carriage route to let the drive along the secret form. All right, I'm gonna have to figure that part out. But okay, for right now, let's just continue on here. We got a few things that we have going on. A ship sails through the locks of the Inner Hebrides, rolling from side to side in peculiar curves. Word has it that cheerful singing coming from the okay. steamer was heard on shore. Okay, so we got to supply the pub. Where is the pub? Captain Klein says the ferrymen are very poorly paid, <laughs> so they might have occasionally treated themselves to a sip from the cargo. <laughs> that just won't do, of course. If at all, then they ought to get drunk like self-respecting people do it, inside a good pub where it's nice and cozy. Okay. So we are gonna have to get this pub full of, looks like liquor. All right, supply the pub with whiskey. We could definitely do that. How is this going over here right now? This is starting to really ramp up. How much does this have in it right now? Almost full. All right, so that's good. That's gonna be good for what we're doing. All right, so we will get there in a, a few minutes, definitely. As you can see here, we have a few things going on all at once, but, uh, yeah, we are also, like I'm saying, waiting for the supply here of the uh, fish and chips, which we have definitely some cargo coming out on the line already, and that is going good. So I'm just going to go through this. Um, if I find any way to solve this puzzle, I will let you guys know, and I'll be back with you in a few more minutes. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and try to actually figure out, um, what is this? It would be this puzzle. So the puzzle is actually over here, and the... The solution is really written in the stars. That's what it says. So let's see what this has here. So it looks like we go one, two, three, four, five. The solutions are written in the stars. So I, there has to be some pattern with how the routes are laid out here that basically are gonna give you a star, I'm thinking. Let's see here, remove all. Yes, okay. So let's say we want to now manage line. All right, let's add stations here. So we go ahead, we're gonna start with, ooh, that's the point. So we're gonna go, no, here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. I will, right now it says nothing. I'm gonna see if that works. Maybe it has to like run through or something like that, but I made a star out of it. It says the solution is really written in the stars. So I'm assuming the solution is a star, which make a star out of the um, line manager should be the solution. So let's see, it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if we fast forward this, how this works. Just, it'll be interesting just to see. I'm assuming that's right. Yeah, this, this will be an interesting tell. 
You guys will have to let me know also how you guys like the playthrough so far for Transport Fever 2. If you guys enjoy the playthrough so far for the campaign, go down below and smash that like button. And if you guys are not subscribed yet, definitely go and subscribe to the channel. I would highly recommend it. We have new content coming out pretty frequently as of right now. So I would definitely recommend hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys are notified every time we have an update. All right, so we got one more station to go to. Let's see if that gets the star pattern for us. I'm thinking it will. The secret of the stones Boom. has been revealed. Okay, so that was it. Although they didn't teleport you back to 1746. It was only to last Monday morning. But maybe that is better than waking up in the midst of a fierce battle. Okay, cool. So that is good. So right now what we need to do is we need to supply this pub with some whiskey. That is, um, from what I can tell, how's it going? Not the best. Where is the ship right now? The ship is getting over here, coming back right now with almost a full load. So let's go ahead and buy another ship. So what I'm thinking is if we buy two ships, I wonder if it's going to increase the output of this facility over here because that would be really nice yeah so transport right now the transport's low <clears throat> so it looks like it's just not going to increase production so maybe yeah if we get another ship on this line here it'll really start increasing the uh, production numbers here so let's see how that goes um i'll be back with you guys with an update to see how this actually turns out thanks to your efforts the industrial metropolis of glasgow is really bursting into bloom well, it looks like supplied with it's going pretty labor, well right now. And the workforce with hard liquor and fish. The city council is grateful and has even proposed to Her Majesty Queen Victoria that you should be knighted. Wow. What an honor. That is awesome. Well, it looks like that uh, the main mission is complete, but we still want to supply the pub. So, because we have revealed the secret, which is good, but we need to get this pub supplied full of whiskey. So let's see how that goes. So, play, huh, okay, so we're going to need definitely more trucks on this route over here, yeah, that is definitely one thing that's hindering us right now, so let's just put in about four more here, and we are going to place them on that route right there, that works perfect, we'll see how that goes, hopefully this gets some more supply going. Like I mentioned, now we have two ships on this uh, route over here. And how is that going? We click on this or this. 30% transport. Hmm. Interesting. Only three have shipped to the pub so far. That's not good. So we're going to have to see how that goes. Hopefully this uh, continues in a good direction. We'll have to uh, just keep you guys updated on the progress. Slide you. As they say around here. Okay. Lately, people have been quenching their thirst and staying dry at the same time. Well, that is complete. We have now completed, it looks like, all the tasks for this mission. So, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good, guys. I hope you guys uh, all really enjoyed this episode for Transport Fever 2. If you guys enjoyed this walkthrough for uh, the third mission, let me know in the comment section down below. And also give this video a like. If you guys are not subscribed yet to the channel, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. But um, on that note, guys, we are going to end today's episode for Transport Fever 2. Like always, my name is Banjus. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see all of you guys in the next episode. See you guys later.